My name is John Norman. I'm an instructor here at Spokane Community College in the Fluid Power Department. I'm asked that question, what's fluid power? And what it is, is we are kind of like machine doctors. Everything that you use in your life, there's equipment out there, machines that make it, robotic systems, automated systems, that manufacture and make everything that we use in our daily lives, whether it's the spoon and bowl that you used this morning when you got your breakfast cereal, to the um, clothes that you wore when you went out on your journey for the day, or wrapping things up for the day, being on your computer, watching your TV, your everything, everything that you touch, there's machines that make it. A lot of people don't realize that when you go to the store and get stuff, it has to come from somewhere. It doesn't just grow on trees. It actually comes from companies that manufacture and make that. And so we're involved in every single level of that, including the roads that you drive on to be able to get to and from wherever you're going. What a fluid is, is it's any substance that will take the shape of the container that it's placed in. So if we put a liquid in the cup, it takes the shape of the container, and whatever is not filled with liquids, the rest is air. And so it's completely full of fluids, but generally people think of fluids as just water or juice or pop or that. The fluids that we use will be oil under pressure to generate mechanical motion, or we'll use compressed air to generate mechanical motion. And the one that often gets left out is actually vacuum systems. And we use a vacuum all the time for picking things up in which we actually evacuate or remove the atmospheric pressure, causing a vacuum cup to adhere to something and move it around. These are principles that have been used for hundreds of years in manufacturing. Even when you look at the first fluid power systems, if you think of the grain mills with the water going across that water wheel, that's a hydraulic system. That's actually liquids going across that wheel to turn stones to grind grains or run a sawmill, whatever they were doing. The journey through our fluid power program is it's a two-year program. We ask the students to come with no prerequisites. We want you to just come in and we know that you don't know anything about it and a lot of students come in with that apprehension, nervous, going, I don't know what I'm doing. You're in good hands because we take a lot of pride with the instructors in the program to make sure that you get acclimated and know what the process is and how you're gonna go through the program. What we're going to do is build a lot of life skills, help develop some soft skills so that you're successful because from day one all the way through the second year, our focus is on not just getting the education, but helping you to develop life skills that are going to keep you employed for the rest of your life. And we're not just trying to get this narrow gap and saying this is the specific area that you're going to work. We're actually looking to say, what is a broad scope so that no matter what your talents are, you find a place where you fit in industry. So day one you come into the program, we start acclimating you and helping you understand what your role is and what your responsibilities are and what we expect from you as instructors. And uh, we're not trying to make this difficult, we're just trying to make sure that you're as prepared as possible to be successful in industry because nothing would be worse than spending two years getting an education and finding out that one, there's no jobs, and two, that maybe you're not prepared. So that's our whole focus all the way through the program. And we cover and rehead all those things that are important to making you successful as a student and as you move forward into your career. If you have a mind that is inquisitive and you're curious about how things work and you look at the wheels on things turning and that, and that interests you, this is a really good career option for you. If you like to, some of the how things are made, television programs, things like that, those are things that set you up for having an interest in this area.